Hi, my name is Rohan Richards. I'm one of the client managers here at Mastertax. And I thought I'd spend the next couple of minutes trying to explain to you the various changes that would be effective for this financial year. The first being expenses associated with holding vacant land. From 1st July 2019, expenses such as interest on loans to acquire land, rates, repairs and maintenance, etc., will no longer be deductible. Likewise, if you have residential rental property which is not available for rent, then once again, those deductions will not be available unless the land is used to carry on a business. The second is the net medical expenses. Once again, from 1st July 2019, a tax offset is no longer available for net medical expenses incurred on disability aids, attendant care, or aged care. Home office expenses. From 1st March 2020 to 30 June 2020, a simplified method of claiming additional running costs from working from home at 80 cents per hour is available. There are three other methods that are available for the period prior to March 2020. An immediate write-off of $30,000 up to 11th March 2020 is available for assets that cost less than $30,000. From 12th March 2020, an amount of $150,000 is available for immediate write-off on the acquisition of assets. This has now been extended to 31st December 2020. However, passenger vehicles and others designated designed to carry a load of less than one ton is limited to the amount of 57,581. The low income and middle income tax offset was available last year and once again it is available for this financial year and for 2021 and 21-22. The amount of the offset you receive depends on your circumstances such as your taxable income and how much tax you have paid. Single touch payroll applies to all employees from 1st July 2019 with the exception of closely held payees, where the exemption date has been extended to 30th June 2021. The taxable payments reporting system has now been extended to cover businesses such as security providers and investigation services, road freight, transport, computer system design, and related services. There is another major change, and that is relating to PAYG withholding obligations. From 1st July 2019, Deductions are denied where PAYG withholding obligations are not met. These represent any payments made to a worker where the required PAYG has not been withheld or the PAYG amounts have not been reported to the tax office. These payments will be non-compliant and therefore a deduction may not be available for the payment. The ATO is also allowed to disclose tax debt information of businesses to credit reporting agencies. And finally, in relation to superannuation, there are two changes that are noteworthy. One is non-concessional contributions. From 1st July 2019, individuals aged 65 to 74 can make voluntary contributions for 12 months from the end of the financial year in which they last met the work test. The second change is that you can carry forward unused cap from 1st July 2019. The carry forward rule allows individuals who have a total superannuation balance of less than $500,000 to make additional concessional contributions in a financial year by utilizing unused concessional cap amounts up to five previous financial years starting from 2018-19. If you require any more information or clarification, we ask you to contact our office here on 08-8172-9150 and one of our client managers will only be too happy to help you and guide you through the changes that will be effective this financial year.